Hilchis Tumas Tsaras Yesh Bechlol on Shmeina Mitzvahs, Sheish Mitzvahs Asei, Ushtay Mitzvahs Leisase, Vizel Prokham. Aleph, Lohiris Betsaras Odom, Kedina Hakosu Betera. So it passes this din, so the person that has to be Lohiris, it can be the Koyin or Bezn, Lohiris Betsaras Odom, Kedina Hakosu Betera. Bez, Shele Yokuts Simoni Tuma, Gimel Shele Yigala Chanesek. Now, Anesek, Anesek is a Tsaras that you have in a place where you grow here, let's say on your head. So the, it's a, and you you lost hair in the middle of your hair, some of the hair fell out. So that becomes a tzaras. Then you have to see whether this hair, you know, this this tzaras is expanding, is spreading. So mainly you have to check. So if after the first week you don't see that it's actually spreading, so you have to go ahead and cut the hair around the tzaras and leave two two rows of hair around the tzaras, and then you check to see whether this tzaras is expand, expanding into those two rows. So there's a din. There's a lot. We learn by Hamshach that you galay chanesek. You now that cut off those two rows of hair, which are there to check whether or not the tzaras is expanding. Dalit sheyia mitzera meforsim the kriyas begadav or kriyas reishay. Kriyas reishay means covering his head. Vaetya al sofim. It's also it's covering your face until the place of your mustache. As we learn by Hamshach, hey taras tzaras. The process of the tziporim and the itzeres. The process of the taras tzaras, which in the beginning of Parshas Mitzera. And then Vav, Behemsha, to the Taras HaMetzeras, there's also a din, Sheigal HaMetzeras, called Soare Kishiyita. After the, ta- the Tara, that's the process, that he also has to be Megalea, called Soare. Mitzvah Zayin, Din Tzeras HaBeged, and Chaz, Din Tzeras HaBais. Ubir, Mitzvah Seilu, Beprokamelu, Peyda Krish. Tzeras Eirabosu, what means Tzeras Eirabosu, who? Sheyal ben Mokim Noer, that a part of, a place in the skin should become white. Vetiyah halav nunis, and at the minimal level of how wide it is, vetiyah halav nunis kikrum beitza should be at the min- minimal, should be as white as the shell of an egg, or mikrum beitza lamailo could be wider than the krum beitza, but it's the minimal should be mikrum beitza. Avalav nunis she udeya mikrum ha beitza anything that's less, not as white as the as the shell of an egg, ulamater is even less than that. In other words, it's not as wet; it's darker than the krum beitza, or even worse. Is, or even less, is Eina Tzaraz, that's not called Tzaraz, that doesn't go into the gather of Tzaraz, Ela Bayek, it's a change of color, that change of color is called Bayek, it's obviously some type of a condition, but it's not Tzaraz, that doesn't go into the gather of Tzaraz, that's called Bayek. Halacha Beis, Ve'ar Maris Yesh B'Tzaraz Eira Basa, Ve'Elohein, there's Levin Az B'Yeser, She'en L'Maylo Mimano, the Rambam says that's the widest it could be, She'hu Nire Be'Eira Basa Kishalik, and who are Nikra Baharis? It's so white that it looks like white snow. And that's the, as white as it could get. And that's called Baharis. Vulevin Shudeyam is amat. And then you have a level of whiteness which is not as white, it's a little darker. Shanira Kitsemer Noki Shulkevis bin Yemi. It looks like the white wool of a sheep that was born that day. Is who are Nikra says. So we have Baharis and says. Baharis is Kishalig Alovan. And says is Kitsemer Noki. Then Vilevin Shadeam and Asmiat, you have another level of whiteness, which is not as white as Tsemernoki, and that's Shanira Kesida Hechel, that looks like the plaster of the Hechel. Is who told us Habaharis? That's called told us Habaharis, that's already a tulga of the Baharis, which was Kishelik, and that's Vinikra Sapachas, that's referred to as being Sapachas. And then Vilevin Shadeam is Sida Hechel Miat. Then you have a level of whiteness which is a little less than Sida Hechel, by Rehu Kikrum Beitza. And that's he told us says, and becomes then sapachas, and that's also referred to as sapachas. So again, so we have baharis, which the baharis that's kishalik loven. Then we have says, which is kisemer noki, and then we have sapachas, which is sida hechol, and then we have kikruma beitzo, which is the told of says. So now sida hechol, that's the told of baharis, and then we have kikrum beitzo, which is told us says, and so called sapachas. Is Hini Lamadata, Shamara Shuke Sida Echel, who Sapachas Abaharis, they're both called Sapachas, but this is the Sapachas Abaharis, that's the Tul de Baharis, Bahamara Shuke Krum Beitzo, that Mara, he Sapachas says, why? So I look why they call both called Sapachas. Shein Loshan Sapachas, El Tvela. Loshan Sapachas means Tvela. So basically, so the Sida Echel, that's the Tvela to the Baharis, and Kikrum Beitzo, that's the Tvela to the Seis. That's so according to the Rambam means Sheleg 
and sapachtu, that's kasida hechul, and the seis the sapachtu seis, that's the tzemer noki, and the sapachtu, that's the krum beit. So that's how the Rambam sets it up. In Rashi, it comes out differently. Rashi comes out that the tzemer noki, that's the sapachas of the Baharas, and the sida hechul, that's the seis, and then the krum beit is the pachas of the seis. So really, as far as what Baharas is, everyone agrees Baharas is kishol glob. As far as what the sapachas of seis. Everyone agrees that's Kekrum Beitzah. The question is, which one is the Seis and which one is the Sapachas of the Baharis? So according to the Ram, it comes out that the Seis, that's Ketzemer Noki, and the Sapachas of the Baharis, that's Kesida Echel. According to Rashi, it's differently. The Ketzemer Noki, that's the Sapachas of the Baharis, and the and the Sida Echel, that's the Seis. I mean, the Ram is later on going to say that a Koyin is supposed to know the names of the, 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 the Maris and the Goyim in their names. Lahura would be a difference according to the Ram, this is their names, and according to Rashi, this is their names. We'll soon see by Hamshik. Halachi Gimel. Arba Maris and the Goyim Eilu is Kulon Metzdarf and Zayim Zeh Bein Lohokel Bein Lachmer. In other words, when there's Shiurim of, the, of, the, of these Maris and the Goyim, as we'll learn by Hamshik, and those, those Shiurim could be Sai Lohokel and Sai Lohachmer. So either way, it makes no difference what their color is. And it was from the color of Kamaris Hashelik, until the color of Kukrum Beitzah, they all have the same din, regardless of what, what shade of white it has. And if they're mixed with different shades. Then Betchilas Riyas HaNegah, when you start seeing the Negah, it makes no difference what shades they are. And also Bein Besef Shiva when you finish. And Bein Laachar, Shaniftar HaMetzerah, the Metzerah who became already Potter. Either way, all these dinim, because all these dinim, which we'll learn by Hemshech, which you have to know the, if the Negah is there or it's not there, so all of these dinim, the ikr is that from the mara of kishelik, which is the strongest type of white, until the mara of kikrum beitza, all have the same din. Sayla hokel and sayla achmer, as we learn by Hamsha. There's, there's a din of the marshal, nishapach kulei lovan. So nishapach kulei lovan, it doesn't make a difference what shade of lovan, as long as somewhere between, from shel, starting from shelik until krum beitza. That would be lahokel, for example. Kesa, echad nega show you kulei lovan kashelik, whether the entire loven nega was kishelig, or kisida hechol, or kisemernoki, or kikrum beitza, ve'echad nega, the same din would apply if it was shahoyim mixes halev and kamari abaheres, or mixosik kamari aseis, or mixosik kamari asapachas, is akil kamari echad uchoshev. So even though you have different shades within the same nega, they all have a din as if it's the same thing. And there's really no difference at all, as long as it's from kishelig, which is the strongest level of white, until kikrum beitza. I am Cain, Loma Monum Chacham. So if Lepel, there's no difference. So why does the Torah say, why, why does the Chazal say that Maris Negoim, Shtayim Sheinar, Belachur, what's irrelevant? The, the Torah told us, I mean, I'm, I'm, he's not asking a kasha on the, on the Torah. He's asking a kasha on the Lachur, the Chacham, are coming along and saying, Maris Negoim, Shtayim Sheinar, so it seems like it, it's important to know. The Torah told us that there's a Din of Abaharis, and there's a Din of Zeis Abaharis. The, told, told, the Torah told us the Maris Negoim. But the pale Chazal are coming and saying Maris Negoim Shtayim Shenarba seems like it's important to get the pale if we're saying that they're all the same. So the Chorid Maris Negoim means as long as it's it's not any less white than Kikrum Beit. So the Chorid that would be the way Chazal could say it. Anything that's not less white than Kikrum Beit has the name of Imkain Lom Amonim Chacham Vaomru Maris Negoim Shtayim Shenarba. Ikadei Lahavin BeMaris. You're supposed to know the Maris. Shekol Koyin Sheine Maka Hamaris Ush Meseyim. Shemalam the Nesu Midi Nesu is Le Yira Hanega. A Koyen, that's a Koyen is supposed to be Yira Hanega, and he's supposed to be the one that say Tommy Otor. So, in order for him to be eligible to be able to say Tommy Otor, he has to be Makar Hamaris, he has to recognize these colors, and also Kshmisayim, he has to know the names of these Maris. He shouldn't be Yira Hanega, Chiyovan, Viyaka, Viyem, Zuya, Baherans, Vizui Sapachto, Zuya Seis, Vizui Sapachto. That's what we were saying before, that according to the Rambam, there's a difference. What's the Sapachas as, as, as opposed to the Rambam and, and, and Rashi? What is actually the Sapachas of Abaharis? And what's, and what's the Seis? That was the Nigea, the Semernoki, or the Sidaech. Okay. Allah Chedalot. Hoya b'mara halevin, me'ar b'maris elu, miktsas admumis mu'urevizbe. There was some red mixed into this white. So there was, we're learning over here that a color white, that's the color of tzaras, and it has to be at least, the, the minimum, it should be as white as kikrum beitza. Now what happens in this white, there was also mixed in some red. 
some red. Gam ze negat sarasu. The fact that there was some red mixed in is also negat saras. Shenema e baheres levona adam domes. So we may be learning out that if in the negat there's also adam domes, some red is also. For who had din, that din is, applies not only to abaheres, who had din le seis, or le sapachas shal seis, le sapachas abaheres, that these negoim, also if there's some red mixed into this white, it's also a negat. Now, the Hamara has a Shemur in Milavnun is Ma'at Edim, who are Nikra Possel. That's called Possel. So, so we're learning that there's Maris Nagoim, and Maris Nagoim, there were four Maris Nagoim, and then, then in these four Maris Nagoim itself, there could be a level of Possel. Now, the Kate said Mara ha Possel, but Arba Maris Elo, what is Mara ha Possel? Because when, when would this be considered a, a Nega, which has it in Nega? In other words, if it's too much red, so it wouldn't be called Possel. Possel means it's white. And there's some red mixed in. Now, how much red should be mixed in? It should be called the Mara Pasuk. So he says, as a Keilu in Arba cases, Malay is Cholf. Imagine you have four cases which are full of Cholf. And you have four cups filled with milk. And when this Arab, the case of Rishay, the Shnei Tipi Dam, there were two drops of Dam fell into one cup. Or the Shnei Arba Tipim, the second one, four cup, four, four drops of Dam. Or the Shlisha Shmeina Tipim. So obviously there will be a different level of red in each of the four cups. In each of the four cups there will be a different level of red. Is a posuk shibe baharis? Who hamara revi? If you have a baharis, now here it's also on the get to know what's baharis. The, the, a posuk shibe baharis, that would be looking like the mara revi, which has 16 drops of blood in it. But a posuk shibe says, that's Kemara Keshlishis, which has eight. Vaposik Shib Sapachas, Habaharis is Kemara Kesa Shneer, which has four. Vaposik Shib Sapachas as ace is Kemara Kesa Rishena. It's not Hamal. There's different levels of white. We're learning over here. There's a Baharis and a Saez, and a Sapachas Abaharis, and a Sapachas Haseis. Now we're saying that there's also a din of red getting mixed into it. So we say that if red gets mixed into it, so if it got mixed into a Baharis, so then this Baharis is going to look like a cup of milk that has 16 drops of blood in it. And if it gets mixed in into this ace, it's going to look like a cup of milk which has 8 drops of blood in it. And if, it's, if, if, if it fell into the Sapachas Baharis, it's going to have 4 blocks of, uh, drops of blood. And if, fell in, if, if you have the red in the Sapachas Ace, it's going to have 2 blo- drops of blood. And that's Megea, because you have to know what level of redness it should have. So in a Baharis, it should have the redness of 16 drops of blood in, in a cup of milk. And al of zeh, in the seis, it should be eight, etc. Now, what's the pshat? The be'emes is, says that, be'emes, it's the same level of redness. But the pale, in something that's whiter, so the redness is more visible. It's more, it, 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 it sticks out more. So therefore, so therefore, it's, it, when you, you, there's the same level of redness that went into the Baharis, into the Sa'is and the Sapachas Abaharis and Sapachas Sa'is. But since in Abaharis, since it's very white, so when you have, let's say, the, 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 the amount of redness which comes into the Baharis, which would be the same amount as the Baharis, as red, which comes into the Sa'is. So in the Baharis, it's going to look like 16 drops of blood that came into a, a cup of milk. And in the Sa'is, it's going to look like eight drops of blood that, that came into a cup of milk. The, the four cups of milk are the same level of whiteness. So in order to have different shades of red, you have to have more drops of blood and less drops of blood. Masha'inkin over here, when we're dealing with different shades of white, so we may, in, order to, in order to have different levels of red, it doesn't depend how much red it is, because the same amount of redness came into all of them, but over here it looks like a cup of milk that came 16 drops of blood. And, and here it looks like a cup of milk that ate drops of blood. Because the same amount of redness came into this into this into this nega, just because the nega was whiter, so therefore it looks, so, so the blood, the redness is more conspicuous, you'll call it, it's more, it's more, it's, 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 it's more noticeable, or it, it, it has a stronger effect, and therefore we want to know how do, would you compare it? So you say, it's compared to a, a cup of milk that has 16 drops of blood, or a cup of milk that has 8 blocks of blood, etc. So this is a halacha, it's a halacha, no, it's not just telling you the fact, you know, it can't be redder than that. If it's a Baharis, it should be redness that has like 16 drops of blood. If it's the other one, it should have less, etc. 
Halachai. Kol Amaris Ha'elu, Ben Halavon, Ben Apostol, are all mitztarf in Zemzeh. They all combine one with the other. Ukemach Ere Echad and Shavon, they're considered like one Maris. In other when you see it, it knows you don't start saying it's this part or that part. It makes no difference. Ubein Shoya Neged Kul Halavon, Ben Mitzosi Lovon, Ben Mitzosi Adamdo, Hakel Kemare Echadu, and again Ben Lahokel Ben Lach. So, in other words, we're saying how much nega is there, so we say that they're all the same. It's as if they're all the same. You know they're not the same. They look differently. But they're all the same in the fact that it all becomes part of one nega. Halach avov. Kol marat tzoras era basar. Eine pruyin nega, and also v'lein metamam. Ad shiyeh mari ha nega omek meira basar. The mari ha nega has to be deeper than the era basar. Le omek bim shishasi. Not that you actually feel that there's an indentation there that is going down lower. El Bemar Sain, when you look at the Nega, it looks like the Nega is lower than the Erebasa, which is Kimare Achama and Niris Laayin, Hamukim Minatzel, just like when you look at the, the, uh, on the, the ground and you see where the sun is shining, where the shade. So where the sun is shining seems to be deeper, even though they're both on the same ground, the same level of ground, but this, where the sun is shining seems to be deeper than where the shade is. So the same way, this Mara Erab Anega has to be deeper than the place of the rest of, of the rest of the flesh. Now, Mr. Rashi in Chumash says that he does Leyadaiti, he does Leyadaiti Purushim, because the Rashi says that naturally, when there's something white around something which is not as white, so this white is going to look deeper than the part that's not white. So the Mela says it's always Amukam Erab, just at Maria Chama, which is Amukam and Atzel. So the Rashi is like asking. How is it possible that you should have a metzias of something that's white, and it's not a muka? It's not a muka. It has to be a muka. The Ram doesn't seem to have any issue with it. The Ram writes by pashtus that it has to be a muka. Vice to it could be there's a dargan a muka. Could be this a dargan. How white it is and how dark the, the skin around is. I'm not really sure. But I'll call upon him. The Rambam writes by pshitus that a, that a tnai in a nega is not enough that it should be white, but it also has to be a muka meira baser. The nega has to be a mukam erabos, and Rashi says, how could it not be? I'll cope on. Aval, im hoye mara halevin e aposuch, bishovim sherabosr, it wasn't omuk me erabos, like he said before, or his nachmer was gavea min oer, it was looked higher than the air, or maybe it was actually higher than the air. Is any nega, that's not called a nega, lik mitzamach, minatzmach, meilu, minaguf, some type of a growth or some type of infection that's happening in the body, has nothing to do with negoim. Negoim is a the Amara Lovan, which has these colors, as he said before, and also that it's Omuk Meir Abbasa. It's not Omuk Meir Abbasa, the pastor is Eni Nega, and therefore it's nothing. The Kash is that the Mashal is a Pasig Mamish. The Pasig says in the Pasha that it says that in Beheris Lovani, the Omuk Ein Marem Menoer is Vehizgir, Akainis Anega. So over there it says Vehizgir. And here the Rambam seems to be saying that it's nothing, that it's Tzemach Menat Smochim, which is the Mepharshim discussed this. Allah Chazayim. Shir kol nigi tzeras, ben tzeras odom, ben tzeras begodim, is ke gris hakilki. A gris is a half of a, of a bean, a certain bean, that was made, was, was, that came from a place called kilki, and that's ke shuhu meruba, it's a square, uhu mokim meruba meir habosar, ke de tzmichas shleishim v'sheh sayus. Sheh sayus eilich, v'sheh sayus lechem, v'chol apachis mizeh eina nega tzeras. So the size of a nega, has to be that it should be the, the amount of place where you could grow six hairs by six hairs square. No, it could be more than that, but it has to be a square. It has to also have within a square area, which within this nega, that's that you could grow that six sires by six sires altogether, thirty-six sires, and that has to be that, and that's referred to as being kigrisa kilki. Kigrisa kilki. Is like a half of a bean, and it was a bean that was split into half, and that that half of bean, that grisak, that gris means like broken, broken of the bean of kilki of this kilik over there. That that type of a bean, that's the size, and the that this size is the shear of a neg. Now halacha ches nega shal yirach be kedits michas chomish sayus afil ha yorki amar is a tor. It has to have a square gris within it. You can't have the area which would have a square gris. It has to actually have a square gris. Wherever the Torah speaks about the Baharas, is who had been Lashar Arba Marish, Loyven, Lishal Pasuk. 
So the, the, it referred to Slav Davka Baris, even though it says Baharis, but Slav Davka Baris means any of the four Maris, and Alder is a Posuch. Vuhu, and only Shia Negat Kigrisa Yesev. It has to be a, a, a Tanai that in order for the Negat to have a din of a nega, it has to have at least the size of a Gris, and also the year Omik Meir Abbasa, like we learned before, that it has to be Omik Meir Abbasa. Vizesh, who Sha'an, who can Nesib Baharistam. Because here in Mishnah Teru, when the Ram is going to say the word Baharis, you know, he doesn't, he's not referring Dafka to Baharis, which he said before, Baharis is Keshel Glova. Over here we're talking about Baharis, refers to all the four Maris, and also the Pasuk of all the four Maris, as long as these four Maris are Amit Meir Abbas. Now, Baharis, Ki Shi'azi Kashelik, Nire Ba'adam Shuhulav and Keya. Baharis Shi'ikeya is Nire Ba'kushi'aza. So as you want to see, you take a look at a person, you see white. So the truth is that depending on what kind of how, what level of whiteness is his skin or what lo- color is his skin will determine how the white in his skin shows up. So we have someone that's very white, his skin is very white. So even though he looks like he has something which is not so white, is, is the, the negative doesn't look so white, but if it would be in a regular skin of a person, then it would look to Shalaglova. The reason why it doesn't look so white is because it's in the skin of a person that's very white. So therefore, he's saying, Baharis, Shehi Azakashelik, is even though this Baharis is Azakashelik, it needs Baadim Shul Love and Kaya. It looks in a, re, in a person that's loving, and he looks at him darker. U Baharis Shehi Kaya, U Baharis, which is Kaya, is Niris Bakushi, someone that's dark. So by him, it'll look strong. The Fichach, Aim Mishar and Akel El Bebeimi. If you want to determine, is this called a Baharis or is this called a Seis? So you have to, you should know if it's a Baharis or a Seis. We said before that the Kayin is supposed to know if it's a Baharis or a Seis. And it's also Negea, Benegea, what the level of Pasuch it is, how much redness it has to be in this Bahar, in this in this Lovan. So you want to know, is this a Baharis or is this a Seis or is this Sapachas a Baharis or is this Sapachas a Seis? So we're saying you, you have to realize that not always the way it looks is the way it really is, because if the, you have to also try to imagine this whiteness, or to, to, to be Mishar, this level of the whiteness in the, in the, of the Nega, what, would it, what level of whiteness would it be in comparison to regular skin of, 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 a, of a person that's white? There is not very white and not very dark. You have to be Mishar to determine whether or not what level of, 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 of Nega it is by, by, by comparing it to what would, would it be like if it would be in, a re, in, a, in the skin of a regular person. Halacha yud. Shloisha simoni tumehim b'tzoras e'rabosah. So we learned already the colors of the tzoras e'rabosah. We learned that it has to be omuk me'er psari. We learned that there's a musik of posuch and what level of posuch it has to be. And then we learned also the shear, the shear of the nega, that it has to be kigris akilki, the shear of the nega. And now we're learning that there's f- three simoni tume in a nega. Shleisha simoni tumahim b'tzoras erabosa. The sayer lover, that the the white hair, v'hamichya v'hamichya means regular healthy skin within the neg in the neg where there's michya, and also v'apishoyin hapishoyin means that started spreading. U'shloshtam u'furash b'teira and all three are b'furash b'teira. Kate said, misha nilde b'baheres obey sayer lover, a michya as baser chay or you have skin that's regular skin within this baheres. Is kshiyireyo a kain when the kain will see him? Yachlite, you should say v'yemar tamei. There's nothing to think about. If you see a nega and you have over there in this nega seir lover, or you see in the lover michiyus baser chai, so yachlite v'yemar tamei. Lehoye baser lover v'le michiyah. So then you sugger. He goes into to quarantine, and then he sugger shivas yom for seven days. He's he's closed up. Or b'shvir yeyo, and then the kain sees him again on the seventh day. And now there's another option, a process of AC forward. It spread, the nega spread. He's again, he's a reza mukhlat, so he's mukhlat. However, it didn't spread at all. So then, we wait another week. If any of these three happened during the second week, is makhliti. So then the kayin says, he's tummy. He calls him tummy. If nothing happened on the second week as well, so he had a nega, and this nega was the shiurim of a nega, and it was the, the level of whiteness of a nega, and it was the size of a nega. But on the other hand, there was no simonitumah, there was no seir lovan, there was no mitya, and there was no pishoyim. 
So, so now on the second week there was also nothing. Is harei zetoyer? So then he's toyer v'yifterano, and he says he's potter. She'ain benigei era baser has geyes al shnei shavuos. Now v'im la'achir she potter v'toyer. After he said that he's potter and he's toyer, so the way he goes out, he doesn't have a nega. And now pasa nega that nega which he had originally, which never spread during the first two weeks. Now that nega started spreading. Oy neilud by seir loven, or that nega was neilud by seir loven in mifya. So then is areza muchlutuma. Then he becomes muchlutuma. Now this din that l'mashal if he now he has a nega and that nega started spreading. So that's only by medvar mamurim when that the pashtus that that nega was still there. And those if lepel he reached a point where he left, he was closed up. For, he had a nega. He was closed up for two days, for two weeks rather. And then he was gepatrat. He says, you know, the, the, there was no simoni tuma. So the mele he was yifteren. Now the whole nega went away, or it became to a, a point where it doesn't have even the share of a nega. So he's not the cloud together of having a nega. So now at this point in time, he's not a person that was sogur, and now he's outside. And now, now when this nega extends, he becomes right away tummy. Now it's kili has no nega. No, it's a person that had a nega, and that nega extended. You cannot pisoy it unless you first have a nega. So this person had a nega before before the whole story. So he had a nega. If during those two weeks that nega spread, so he's tummy. If after the two weeks and he was nifter and that nega, the original nega, there was the nega that he had that he's, but it, but it was never simoni tumen, and therefore he was nifter. That spread, so he's tummy. Mashainkin, if that nega went away and now it, he he or it or reaches a point where it doesn't have the share of a nega. And now that nega now it reassumed the shear, and it's more than it was originally. So that's not called pasa. That's called a new nega mitchila. And therefore, we have to start the whole process again. Mashaikim and again say eleven and michir. There's no process because as long as there's a nega which has the shear and he has say eleven or a michir, so he's tummy. So he's not chamot. Pasa nega and they let they say eleven and michir. There is a muklut to me. Halacha yudal beheres shehoisa azek hashalik. You have a beher beheres which was very white. It was azek hashalik. It doesn't change anything. The fact that it became whiter or the fact that the shade of white became less doesn't change anything. The only time that not becoming as white is a simantuma if it reaches a level of being not as white as a krumbeitza. In the smite marba mark mark maris, the nasis came the krumbeitza became darker than the shell of an egg. Shari nasis baked, so it became a baked. That's a simantara. Mashainkin, if you had something which was azek hashelik and now it became a krumbeitza, that's not a simantara. Yeah, but mashainkin, if it became less than krumbeitza, so then it's baek or the fifth of third. In K Mao Zeshanamra, the Pasik says, Vihine Kaya Nega, Vile Posa Nega Bair, Vitiri Akeit. So it sounds like the fact that Kaya Nega, the Nega became darker, is a reason for Tiare Akeit. So that the Ram says, no, you have to separate the Pasik. Mean Shim Kaya Kaya Nega means Shim Kaya Me Arba Manish Tor. So Kaya Nega doesn't mean it became less, not as white, but it's still Kikrum Baitza. Kea nega means it became less than kikrum beitz, and that itself is a reason for tara. So it doesn't go together. Ine kea nega, that's one in you. That means that's in itself a reason for tara. Or there's another thing, v'leifasa, ha nega be'er, v'chein im le'kea, abba v'leifasa, v'leinildable, v'leiseir v'leimichi, so then there is a tara. So it's not working together. And there's kea nega, the fact that the nega is still white. The white kikrum beitz, even though it's less than what it was originally, which originally was Keshelik, makes no difference. The Iker is that if it's still as white as a Krumbeitza, so it's a simon of a nega and his tongue.